Hello, and thank you for stopping by JD Halls and More. I'm Jennifer, and today I have got a Dollar Tree haul for you all. Um, this is two different Dollar Tree stores. Um, one of them, I went with my son last Friday while we went and got groceries. And another one, Diane and I visited yesterday. Um, this is a fairly good size haul. I got some Easter, some foods, and some household and health, beauty and health stuff, mixture of things. So sit back, grab a drink. My coffee of, or my drink of choice is coffee. Got this from Emily for Mother's Day last year. It's on both sides. And I've got coffee. So grab yourself your drink of choice this morning. I'm gonna start with food. Um, I found this Lipton, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, but it, it says that it is um, finely blended cinnamon, vanilla, and pure cane sugar. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it, but it sounded good to me, so I did get two to try. So I love Lipton iced tea. They also have the um, sweetened tea. I don't do sweetened tea. It's just too sweet for me. I do the lemon tea. I love that. I grew up on that stuff. And so I thought I'd give this a try. Like I said, it sounded intriguing to me. Um, more of the liquid kind of stuff. I finally found the jelly bean sparkling water. I don't care for sparkling water, but... Um, this has been on my wish list. I will try it. Um, it's zero sugars, zero sweeteners, zero calories, and zero, zero sodium. Um, this is in very cherry. And then also got it in watermelon. You know, I don't, I love the smell of watermelon and fragrance. I don't like watermelon to eat, so I, I don't know about that one. Might have to hand that off. This is the one that really intrigued me was orange sherbet. Oh God, I love orange sherbet. So I did pick up the three. I'm not sure um, if there's more. I have no idea, but that was a wish list item as well. Um, I did find these um, cow tails. They're minis in strawberry smoothie. It's chewy strawberry smoothie flavored caramel with a cream center. And there's a 12 count. So I figure I'll put these in some Easter baskets. Yes, I still do Easter basket for my kids, even though they're 24, almost 21 and 17. And then the other day I hauled from Dollar General the Haribo, um, is it Happy Hoppers, the um, carrot and bunny ones. And now they have at Dollar Tree, I've seen the Happy Chicks. So I picked those up for me. And then I've been told, but I haven't tried these, these oven baked um, fudge mint, fudge mint cookies are like the Girl Scout um, Thin Mints. So I thought I'd try them, they're nine ounce. And then I also found them in the um, fudge covered cookies filled with peanut butter spread made with real peanuts. And I figured these were like the Girl Scout Tagalongs. So figured I'll try them. I heard a, I've heard nothing but good reviews from these being like a dupe for the Girl Scout cookies. So we'll try those. Um, this has not been my th uh, first time buying this type of cereal. It's from General Mills. It's a 13 point or 11.3 ounce, sorry about that. And these are the Dunkaroos. My son absolutely loves this cereal. And then I've seen people haul this. It's 11.7 ounce, it's a limited edition. And it's good until June. This cereal, Duck Roos is good. Oh, both of these are good until June. And this is the Captain Crunch Christmas Crunch. Fun holiday shapes. So, thought I'd try that. All right, that's the end of the food or food related items. Um. This is going to be health and beauty and just household items. I found this, says trending now, as seen on TV. Use under your mask, breathe easy and stay cool. Cool turtle, 
comfortable, speak clearly, no more smudge makeup and washable. And it's a six pack. And it looks like that. Well, it does kind of look like a turtle shell. And then there's six of them in there. Um, so it shows you how to do it. Just put it inside your, you know, sit it inside your mask here and it's supposed to stay away from your face. So that's got to help out with maybe fogging up your glasses as well. Cause that's a big one. I know. So, you know, don't wear masks too often anymore. There are certain areas I do. So I thought, why not? And they had a bunch of these, a bunch. And then I found this Made Smart and it's like a, um, like soap dish. And I was just reading the bottom here and it's made in Minneapolis or St. Paul, Minnesota, which is just about three hours from me as I am in Minnesota. So that's pretty cool. Hand wash only. I'm not sure where Made Smart is coming out of. I don't know. Is it an Ikea thing? Because there's an Ikea up by the uh, Mall of America. Or is it just a regular other box store? I have no idea. But got that. Got a soap dish. I found, and this was up at the register. It's by Yes Studio. And it's Uh-Oh Honey. Honey Lip Balm. And it's 3.5. I'm going to open this. Because I've been intrigued in what this is like. There was two of them sitting there, and these are the only two I've seen in the whole store. I left one. Oh, look at that. Oops. Uh-oh, honey. Okay. It just kind of looks like that. It don't really smell anything. Of course, my sniffers hasn't been working right. But this is like a hard paper um cardstock so that's different it looks like that and then for easter for my girls i got them socks of course by juncture um, women's five to nine for courtney this is the one pair just striped navy blue and purple and white and gray and then the front pair is why i really got it we all know her love for sloth so Got that, and I'll go over in her Easter basket. And then for our Emily, the oldest one, also Juncture 5 to 9. And sure, she loves her coffees, her lattes. So that's the second pair. And the first pair says, love you a latte. And it looks like that. Speaking of my oldest daughter, um, you know she lost her kitty. It was a week ago Sunday and um, actually she was talking to a few co-workers about what happened and one of them one of our co-workers popped up and said that they were wanting to rehome re their cat and she wasn't thinking about getting a cat this soon but as she said Gizmo must have wanted her to move on and get a new cat so she got a cat on Saturday his name is Ralphie, and he's gray and white. Beautiful, beautiful cat. He's just a little over a year old. So, um, like I told her, you know, you're not replacing Gizmo. It's just Gizmo wanting you to have a friend, and he knows how, you know, with your anxiety and depression, you know, and not being with your ESA cat that, you know, he sent you in a direction to get another one. All right, and the last thing out of this bag, um, I've seen people haul this as well. It's by Suave Essentials, and they're all 13 and a half fluid ounces, and I found it in the coconut water. It's a hydrating, hydrating hand soap with aloe. I love coconut, so I'm sure I like this. I never opened it up in the store. I just grabbed. Oh, yeah. Oh, I do like this coconut water. Of course, I like coconut, so I so got that. And then I thought of my oldest daughter, Emily, with this Peachy Clean Revitalizing Hand Soap with Vitamin E, but it does have a sunflower on the package, so it makes me wonder if there's some sunflower in there. Well, the peach is not bad. You know, I don't mind this. There's peach. 
and there is that floral so makes me wonder it if it is a little of the sunflower and the last one I got is milk and honey and that's moisturizing I'm really excited about this one. Oh yeah can smell them can smell the honey I'm not sure about the milk but can smell the honey so got these three hand soaps I've got a bunch of hand soaps but I'm like I'm always picking them up because you always go through them and that's the end of the first or two bags the next bag is just household crafting items um I did get this by Floral Garden. It's just a garland, four feet. And I've got an area up here. I've got like a corner shelving unit with a bunch of gnome stuff on it. And on the top, I have a um, tiered tray that I have a gnome on. And it just needs some floral around the bottom part of the base um, that sits on the shelving just to kind of cover up the base of it. So I got that for that usage. Um, got some coloring books, adult coloring books. Um, I got it in the dogs. I just fell in love with this. And I primarily, let me see if I can find it. Yep, got it for Duke, because that's what our Duke looks like, our bulldog. And there's just some other ones. And I do like coloring every once in a while. So got that. And then I found the one in trees, and I thought, hey, you know what? Give that a, a little birdhouse in that one. I really like this one over here. So I thought I'd give those, add those to my um, adult coloring book collection. And I did get some packs of stickers. Um, this is seven piece Crafter Square glitter. I'm not sure if I have this one. It didn't look familiar, so I got like the birthday theme. Cake. Happy birthday with a cake on it, and a cupcake, and a present, and balloons. And then, I know I don't have this one. I've got a lot of butterfly ones, but this did not look familiar. Just different color butterflies. I really like this color one. And then, I really like these. It's a 10-piece pop-up, and they're just little woodland creatures. It's got the fox, and the owl, and the porcupine, and the squirrel, and the bear, and the lion, and the bunny, and the deer, and the trees, of course. And then these are, well, they're saying pop up or puffy, 19 piece on a 10 piece. This one is has pineapple and flamingos. It's a summer theme. Just really liked it. And then this one just is like abstract, I guess you could say, art. I mean, that looks like rain coming down. Excuse me, my nose itches. Somebody's talking about me, or I'm going to kiss a fool, one of the two, right? So those are the stickers I got. And then up by the checkout, they had a bunch of these and this was been on a wish list. This is just the wood, solid wood, small one. It says, this is us, our story, our life, our home. And I really, really love this. And, um, and I like that they're putting them in plastic now so they don't get ruined. So got that. Um, in the garden collection, I found this garden tool hanger, and I've been hearing people talk about this one and the regular one that's found in with your, um, cleaning supplies. So got this, I'm gonna have my husband put it up. I'm gonna put our broom, broom and, um, mop head on it. So, found a magnet, I'm always getting our magnets. It says, fear not, for I am with you. I'm going to let you know if these do fall, they will break. And by Crafter Square, I have got, I do not have a Cricut or anything like that, but I love getting the vinyl paper. This is the vinyl paper permanent. And of course, since in the black and white buffalo check, I had to get it. And then this is another wish list item. This is a candy jar with lid and it's the small one. I wouldn't mind the big one. But I'm just happy that I found the small one. I'm going to put my cake cups for my coffee in this. Another bag down. Okay, and the last part of this haul is Easter. I got some Easter eggs, three piece, and they're in the um, kind of hard glare from the window over here on the right side. 
They are um, three carrots. I'm going to put this in the kids', you know, put some candy in it and put it in the kids' um, Easter basket. And then I found by Crafter Square two-piece decor, and it's these, like, bottle brush carrots with the raffia bow. Love it. Love it. And then I also found garland. Sure how long a garland it is because I got two of them here. And this one, it has carrots and bunnies. So you got different colored carrots and different colored bunnies. And this one is just the bunnies in the white and black buffalo check. What I'm going to do... Okay. There we go. I'm like trying to open it. I want to open just to show you this garland here. So you got that, and then the bunny with a pom pom tail, blue and white. Carrot again, green white bunny. Carrot again, purple bunny, and then carrot. So different color. Carrots are all green and uh, orange, and the bunnies are the different color. So you got those. That was like on my. Uh, Easter wish list, I guess you can say. And then I got these, and I really didn't need them, but I thought these were cool. These are egg picks, and there's four of them. If you look at them, there's purple, but they're not like the glittery. They're like um, red. So I did get four of the uh, purple, four in the blue, and four in the pink. I just love them. I, I, you know, I've done that. I don't care for the glitter as much. I mean, that's okay, but I really like the thread ones. And then I found this shaped gift bags, two piece, and then the carrot. Isn't that cute? They open up the top. You can put some goodies in it and then cinch it on the sides. And they, like a two pack. And then I've been seeing people haul these baking molds. I only found two colors. I found it in the blue. Look at the boonie. And the pink. I need the purple one yet, so I am on the lookout for that. I thought this would just be cute, too. I mean, you could do wax molds, chocolate molds, cakes, jello. I just, what a cool idea. What a cool idea here. And then I found this garland. I know that there's um, three other three other types of garlands. Um, well, this is an actual a garland, but they also have the carrot one and the bunny one. Is there a chick one? Um, but I just found this garland. And then as I was leaving, I saw this, so I had to stop and pick it up. Um, it is a Easter pail, and it's of the gnome. This looks like bunny ears, and then flowers on a cloud. I just love it, and he's holding an egg. So I got that, and then I got myself this. It's crew socks, they're Easter, five to nine, and that's up on the gnome with the bunny. I know they have another pair, um, like I said, this is the crew one. I know they have the shorter sock, but I only saw, and this was the only one in the store, and I saw it right before Diane did, so I took it. And then, another little stack of Easter stuff. I got the bunny paw picks, and there's two of them, so I got it in the pink and white check, and in the blue and white check. So I'm going to put these in. We have two fic big ficus trees out in our fireplace room. And I might just stick those right in the soil. And then I love Peter Rabbit. I actually have a Peter Rabbit for that I get out at Easter. And this is the book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. So, like I said, I've got Peter Rabbit for Easter. And then I also picked up the coloring book in Peter Rabbit. And yes, I will do some coloring. Isn't that cute? Just love it. Speaking of bunnies, these are also by Crafter Square. And I 
got the bunny, this bunny. I love this bunny. You know, you could put those pom-poms, those white pom-poms that are out at Easter now for the tail. Found the carrot. This, I love this one. It is the bunny butt. I found this, there was an egg one too, but I really like this one. It says fresh carrots, locally growing, 25 cents each. Cottontail Farms, 100% organic. And it looks like the cutting board, like the bamboo cutting board. Like I said, there's an egg one, but I really like the carrot one the best. So I went with this one. And then I seen this one with Diana, had her grab it for me. It's Happy Easter Cottontail Farm Fresh Eggs. And it's with the bunny and the chick and the eggs. And then I like the little barn in the back. There was another one. I can't remember what it looked like. There was a bunny on it. But really like this one with the barn in the back. And then, of course, I got more window clings. And this one says, Happy Easter has a blue truck, uh, truck with eggs in the back. And there's a chick and a bunny butt. And it looks like this. And this one is 10 piece. And then I really like th uh, this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I might just leave it alone. If they're just calling this by Floral Garden 20 inch metal carrot. Let's see if you can see it here. Yep. Well, there you go. So I might just leave it alone. I mean, I don't know. What would you do with this? Would you just leave it like this or would you try to you know put duckle mesh on it or um yarn or I don't I don't know. But I had to pick it up. Okay, and these are also decor for Easter. Oh, isn't he cute? I'm gonna back up here. Can't get him in the view here. Bunny, Mr. Bunny's holding the carrot and Mrs. Bunny is holding the basket of um, eggs. And they are good size. I'm gonna have to set them up somewhere. But I just thought they were cute. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for my Dollar Tree haul for you all on this Tuesday. Um, yeah, let me take a drink. I'm kind of winded. We're at 22 and a half minutes about. But yeah, that was a pretty good Dollar Tree haul, I guess. Um, other than that, making it to a couple Dollar Trees, you know, Dollar 25, what do you do? I am being pickier, but some, you know, Easter, yeah, I didn't have the stuff, you know, whatever. But the food and the household items, you know, if it's a good thing, good bargain, I'm going to still, still buy it. I'm going to still shop at the Dollar Tree. This ain't going to stop me. You know, everything is going up. You know, comment below, what is gas prices in your area? Here in Southern Minnesota, um, they just went up in our town yesterday to $3.79. I know the town that I go about half an hour from here, that's actually in South Dakota, um, they are at three, well, 379 or 389. I know there are other spots that are worse, but there are other spots that are better. But anyway, comment below. Let me know what your gas prices are. Um, anyway, not much going on, you know, weekday. So work later this afternoon. Otherwise, same old, same old. Um, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Comment, share, and please subscribe to JD Halls and more. I know Diana and I would love for you to be part of our YouTube family. And we would love more friends in our YouTube family. More the merrier, I say. And until our next video, have a wonderful day. Not sure when we'll be back with another video. Maybe Thursday. That's when we're together again. Um, but have a wonderful day. And we'll see you. Bye, guys.